Hi, this is Gas, and today I will be showing you how to discover live hosts like a boss. Let's jump into the demo and start doing some actions. Our target victim machine is a Windows box, and its IP address is 10.0. .20.103. Just remember that it ends with 103. Then you will know that this is our target host. Now on this machine, I blocked all the ICMP packets coming into the box using the file and printer sharing rules. And if you look at the left side, I selected the inbound rules to get the job done. Let's jump into the Kali box and check how we can identify this live host. First of all, I will ping the destination Windows box and I'm using the C option to count three times before it stops. As you can see, the ping tool is saying that my destination is not up and running. But that's not the case, right? Let's try to take advantage of the ARP table and scan the Windows host using the ARP scan tool. And this time, the tool has identified that our host is alive. Perfect. Now, that's good on the LAN network, but what if I'm targeting a host on the internet? Then we don't have the ARP table available to us. In this case, nmap comes to the rescue. And by the way, folks, if you like this video, go ahead, like it, and share it with someone who can take advantage of it as well. Alright, I will use the ping scan in nmap to get the job done using the TAC SN option. Voila, I have the full host name along with the domain name that it belongs to. And I can see clearly that the host is up and running as well. Now, why Nmap is so powerful using the ping scan to identify live hosts? First of all, it sends an ICMP echo request. Second, it sends an ICMP timestamp request. After that, it will send a TCP ACK on port 80. And that's very effective for live internet hosts. Along with TCP SYN packet on port 443 for HTTPS. I'm assuming that you're running a root user while executing a map in order to take advantage of all these features. Finally, Nmap will send an ARP request, which is very powerful on the LAN network. That's it, folks. I will include a link in the description below to the blog article of this video, so you can refer to it in the future. 